Hey friends, welcome back to Kevara Farm. It's a great day here at the farm and we are back here to talk more about poultry farming. So in today's video, I want to discuss with you the three herbal remedies which have really worked for me here at the farm as a vaccine. And I also want to discuss with you how effective these herbal remedies are uh, in poultry farming and how you should use them at your farms. So if you're new on this channel, I'm called Lillian and I'm so passionate about poultry farming. So if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and please help me and like this video, share it to other farmers such that we can all benefit from this information. So today I'm making this video when I'm seated, it's because I'm not feeling well, but then I have to give you the content I have to give you uh, information about poultry farming. The number one organic material that I use here at the farm is charcoal. This charcoal has really, really done wonders for me here at the farm. It does, it treats very many things for me here. Uh, number one, it treats uh, costiosis so well. I don't even remember when I last bought um, medicine to treat uh, costiosis here at the farm. I have a video about charcoal, which is talking about all the benefits of charcoal. So please, if you haven't watched it, you can watch it as such that you can learn the benefits of this charcoal. This charcoal, it has also acted as a toxin binder for me here. If you know the benefits uh, of toxin binder and then uh, acidifier, this charcoal has really, really acted as a toxin binder at the same time as an acidifier for me. Uh, in our feeds, we always add a toxin binder and as well as acidifier. If you, if you don't trust where you're buying these feeds, for example, uh, people who sell brand, they always uh, mix in some substances which reduces on the quality of the feed. So, we add in the toxin binder in order to remove that poison because uh, if you feed uh, those feeds which are not of good quality to the chicken, it affects them. But for me here at the farm, I only add in the charcoal and it has really, really helped me to remove all the poison from the chicken. So my chicken have never been affected by this poor quality feed. And then another organic material which has really, really worked for me here as um, medicine to this chicken is aloe vera. Aloe vera is so good uh, when it comes to poultry farming. Actually, I advise all farmers, wherever that you are, to plant this aloe vera because it is so good. It is so good at treating so many diseases in poultry. And it is so good at containing very many vitamins. So it helps to boost the immunity of the birds. It helps to treat some diseases. And for me here, this aloe vera, it is so good at treating a uh, cough. For example, these local birds of mine, a few days ago, they developed a cough and I only gave them um, this aloe vera plus red pepper. And within a few days, cough was cleared. So you can as well use it uh, to treat some diseases at your farm. And then another thing that has really, really worked for me here at the farm is the popo leaves and the popo seeds. I have talked a lot about popo leaves and popo seeds, and I have talked about all the advantages. And this herbal remedy is really, really doing wonders for me here at Kevara Farm. Uh, because it has helped me to use as a duama. And then another thing, um, my birds, they are really resistant from diseases. I want to tell you that at this farm, I'm not facing any challenges of diseases. And it's because uh, of the herbal remedies that I give to these birds. I'm very sure that their immunities are so high that's why they have been able to resist from these diseases. I'm facing other challenges, but then a challenge of diseases? No, it's not here at the farm. And another thing that I would want us to discuss today, I want to discuss the effectiveness of these herbal remedies. 
at our farms because I've been receiving uh, many calls. Uh, farmers are asking me that my birds are suffering from this and this. Uh, which herbal remedies can I use? Um, they are asking a lot of questions. But I want to be clear today that uh, we use these herbal remedies as a preventative measure. But when your chicken gets sick, please don't hesitate to go to pharmacies and bring the medicine for your chicken. Don't hesitate to call the veterinary doctor and find out uh, what your chicken are suffering from and then you treat the disease. But listen, you can use those vaccines and medicine alongside these herbal remedies. They will help you. Uh, maybe for people who are having uh, very small numbers, uh, for example, 200 birds, uh, 300 birds, you can fully rely on these herbal remedies to treat some diseases, uh, for example, cough. Uh, but for those farmers who are having huge numbers, let's say 1,000, 2,000, I wouldn't advise you to rely 100% on these herbal remedies, no. And then another thing that we have to know, uh, much as we use these herbal remedies, we have to take into consideration other factors. For example, the hygiene at our farms, uh, those who are having deep litter system, uh, you have to uh, be clean. Know that in the evening you have to wash your drinkers each and every day. And then even outside your farm you have to uh, keep it clean. And then you have to take biosecurity so serious at your farms. And when we all do all these things and then we give uh, these herbal remedies, our bad's immunity becomes so strong and then they are so resistant from all these diseases they don't just catch diseases but uh, when your birds get sick uh, you can go and get the medicine and then you give with uh, herbal remedies alongside uh, those antibiotics to make sure that the disease is cured within a very short period of time and then when it comes to the routine of vaccinating your chicken and also deworming your chicken, because we know that every month uh, we have to deworm and we also have to vaccinate against Newcastle. So there are some people who have been asking me that when I'm giving these herbal remedies, am I supposed to vaccinate? You're supposed to vaccinate every month and you're also supposed to deworm every month. But uh, when you're giving these herbal remedies like the popo leaves they help so much that that even by the time you deworm your birds are not infested with worms so that is how we are supposed to be using the herbal remedies we use them as a preventative measure but we don't rely on them completely a hundred percent to cure the disease so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell such that you're among the people who receive the videos when we upload and don't forget to share and like this video such that other farmers can also be able to get and share on this knowledge that we are learning from here so thank you so much for watching bye bye let me see you in my next video I think so no 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 I don't think so, no, 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 it's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen, I don't think so, no, 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 no.